Mike Moore Media. I'm checking in with our friends in Stokesdale. The mayor of Stokesdale, Mike Crawford, is on the line. We'll catch up on some things going on around town. Hey, Mike, how are you? How you doing? I'm well, Mike. I hope you are. I'm doing just great and ready to find out uh, what's happening around Stokesdale. Give us, a, give us the latest. Well, let me give you a recap of what we had going on. Mm-hmm. We had our monthly uh, town council meeting on the 11th. It's uh, held every other Thursday at 7 p.m. at our town council, our town hall. Uh, we had several things that, that we discussed and, and needed to uh, uh, take care of. Our opening was done, and our fire chief uh, from the local fire station, Todd Golden, gave us a uh, report on what they had been doing. So far in the month of July, they had answered 88 calls, most of which were just uh, uh, normal routine calls, nothing of any uh, life-threatening uh, dangers, I don't believe. Mm-hmm. The uh, <clears throat> Give me just a second here. Sure. And uh, a shout-out while you're uh, getting your notes together there to the Stokesdale Fire Department and, and that team, it's, uh, it's a tough job, and I know volunteers are always needed, too. So thanks to the guys and, and gals that are there for, for us, for you, and being there when we need them. For sure. That, that reminds me they are hiring. Yeah. Uh, we have a uh, town park improvement committee. They meet every other Thursday at 515, and they met this past Thursday is my recollection, um, which was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh, They're working on some exciting plans to improve our park, uh, which will provide some benefits, some additional benefits to our citizens and hopefully the uh, surrounding community. Uh, Our water workshops began. We uh, were fortunate enough to get an additional grant, federal funds grant, through the county commissioners, our Mayor Pro Tem, uh, Derek Foy, was able to secure this federal funds uh, grant to the tune of $3.1 million. We were the only township who made the request who got everything we asked for. Wow. So we're really about that, and we are working as as a council to come up with some things that are going to improve our water system and uh, make some extensions. We've we've got enough money that we think we can extend our water system. Uh, It's always been in the back of my mind since being elected. um, One of the other council members and I are working on uh, an alternative for what we current, not an alternative, but a backup for Mm -hmm. what we currently have. We currently get our water from Western Salem, and we're just concerned that if that were ever to fail by man-made means or, or or God himself, that we could have some kind of a backup, and we're working toward doing just that. Our backup may be from uh, Winston-Salem, it may be from uh, another source, but uh, we're definitely working on it, trying to do the best thing we can for the citizens of Stokesdale. Well, congratulations on that $3.1 million federal grant. That should go a long way to make some improvements. Yeah, yeah, we, we certainly hope so. Yeah. Uh, had a request this week from the local elementary school, a reminder to everyone, school is starting. Please uh, be aware, be alert. Uh, we had a request from the local uh, elementary school, Stokes Hill Elementary, to see if we couldn't uh, help fund a uh, deputy for them for traffic control. Uh, fortunately enough, uh, Derek Foy and I were able to, to secure some private funding so that we didn't have to uh, make this a, uh, a, a votable uh, expense uh, with the town council. But that will happen. There will be some assistance out there uh, for the first week anyway of the school opening. Okay. Administrative reports, uh, it was reported uh, this week that we had, uh, or this month, we had 699 water bill payments, and that was for the month of July, of course. The interesting thing is we're anticipating probably another 750 uh, 
additional uh, water customers, which is important to maintain our water system. So, so, also, so that, that's new. Business. That's that's new customers. You're talking about 750. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that's new. That should happen in the next couple of years. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, we've got quite a bit of construction going on with uh, the housing develop mm-hmm. developments that are in the township. Uh, I'm very pleased to announce that our deputy clerk Priscilla Hunsucker was promoted to a water system customer service manager. Priscilla is the one who basically handles our water system billing and uh, the statement of payments, that kind of thing. So she's been very key in that. She's also the one who uh, disperses the water meters for new construction. Uh, she's very key in that in that uh, position. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Derek Foy announced that the uh, Christmas parade will be held December the 10th. Uh, financial reporting... Uh, that was basically just some clarification of previous reporting. Councilman uh, conducted some ex- discussions. Folk sales fees and charges. We're trying to get that uniform so that uh, it's not a surprise to anyone coming in to to uh, uh, try to build or try to add on whatever whatever they may need from our uh, administrative services. Mm-hmm. Our town. Uh, attorney is uh, Tom Medlin. Tom's firm has merged with Offit and Kerman. Uh, it's a much larger firm. They've got uh, offices in, in a variety of cities uh, around the country. The advantage we have here now is we've got a much larger knowledge and experience base to draw from if we have need for their legal services. Uh, this is a, I think this is a good move. We'll We'll uh, see. Tom will continue as our town attorney. Okay. Got a water workshop. Missed that. Okay. Prince of Stokesdale. Prince of Stokesdale is a uh, volunteer uh, organization here in Stokesdale that uh, does a variety of things. One of the one of the things they're doing now is they have a uh, farmers market every afternoon from 4 o'clock to 7 p.m., 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., and it's held at the uh, Methodist United, the United Methodist Church here in Sugsdale. It is very close to the intersection of Highway 68 and Highway 158. Uh, please come out and enjoy the homegrown goods, and uh, whenever you have a chance, buy local. Mm-hmm. Buy local. Anytime you have a chance, buy local. Oh, yeah. Sugsdale's a great place to do it. Uh, it is it is the place to live and to try it as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we have peaceful uh, rural setting and access to the benefits of the larger town. Uh, Greensboro, Winston-Salem, Reasonable, they're only about 20 minutes away by uh, uh, driving 20 minutes away. I think this is, uh, this is a place to live if you have a choice. So come out, please take a look around. Uh, we'd love to have you. Okay. Mike, I think that's a complete thanks for what I have. Well, uh, you've given us a lot of good information here today about that, that federal water grant and um, talking about the uh, lease to start uh, school the first week for the uh, traffic control there at the school. And, uh, gee, that's exciting news when you think about, uh, yeah, all the construction in the area and basically doubling your current um, water uh, bill number in the, in the next couple of years or so. Yeah, I think Priscilla is going to be extremely busy here in the coming years, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. And this, uh, this promotion was warranted. She's, she, served in a, uh, she served in a deputy clerk position for quite a while, which was, which was adequate. It was a, it gave her the information she needed to have to rightfully designate what she does i think this is more appropriate so we'll mm-hmm. uh, we look forward to her taking on those duties there are a few more that she will also handle and continue to work as uh, uh in in some of the clerk uh, uh duties mm-hmm. uh, while okay. she's there all right very good yeah and i've jotted it down the uh, stokesdale christmas parade december 10th so we'll put that on the calendar too mayor always good to talk to you thank you Mike, thank you. I appreciate it. 
I appreciate you and uh, good things happening in Stokesdale and the update. We'll talk again next month. Thank you, Mike. Uh-huh. Bye. Yes, that is the mayor of Stokesdale, Mike Crawford, and uh, he's very accessible. Um, you can uh, get to him there at uh, Town Hall. And the uh, website for the town, by the way, is stokesdale.org, stokesdale.org. Our program is sponsored by Byright Supermarket, Ellisboro Road, Stokesdale. Have you been in uh, in the new Byright, their beautiful new store? Oh, it is so nice. I was by recently talking to Dave. Dave's Deli, hot bar, uh, starting uh, your day off right there with breakfast and then uh, through the day with all of those good things on the on the hot bar. And uh, just looking at their Facebook page for Byright Supermarket, I'm uh, doing some grilling this weekend. We've got you covered there. The um, the meat market, they're cutting um, fresh meat daily, ribeyes and fillets on special for the weekend. Also good deals on produce, soft drinks, and Red Baron pizza. That's Buy Right Supermarket. Yes, be sure to follow them on Facebook. Then we have Crossroads Pharmacy. April and her fine team there at NC 68 North and Oak uh, in Oak Ridge. Uh, just on their Facebook page, some really good uh, tips there. Healthy eating habits for kids as they get back to school. I found that uh, very informative and uh, tips to get ready for the cold and flu season. April's really good to keep that Facebook page updated with uh, lots of good material. And in addition to uh, the Crossroads Pharmacy there in Oak Ridge, you'll find her right there in Madison on Highway Street beside Fuzzy's Barbecue. Thanks to our sponsors. And uh, yes, echoing what the mayor said a little bit ago, shop local. We can never stress that enough. Shop local. Support our hometown businesses. 